All right, cool. I think we put off uh, not going into warp for long enough. Let's go ahead and go into space and finally do that. <laughs> okay, first though, I think we should uh, charge up this. All right, cool. And we will also charge up this. All right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and put on our boosts. I feel like we're going pretty slowly. I think uh, that's just because of our ship, right? Once we get more powerful and, you know, faster ships, we should be going faster. Um, but for now, I mean, like, this pretty much takes ages to leave a planet. All right, so have we left the planet yet? Yeah, I guess we have. Okay, so I think, can we, yeah, I think we should be able to use our warp drive now, right? Okay, so this is still, um, we're still in our uh, gaming star system. And where do we want to move to now? We can go here, it has two planets and one moon. Okay, what else can we do? Uh, scan for discoveries, I wonder what that does. Alright, so it's searching right now, but I'm not sure what it's searching for. Alright, we'll give it a couple more seconds and see if it gives us any results. Select nearest, select nearest what? Okay, so eat it like bacon. <laughs> uh, that's kind of cool. So I guess this is some. Uh, this is a star that someone already named, which is pretty cool. Okay, so we can't jump this far though. Uh, so right there at the bottom in red, it says too far to jump. We gotta upgrade our drive. Let's go ahead and deselect all of this because. Yeah, okay, so we're back in our star there. Uh, warp reactor theta required, so we can't even go that far. I think the only thing we can do is jump to the next star system. Right? Okay, let's go in and exit out of there. And let's go back into it. Okay, so, yeah. So I kind of wanted to start off back here so that if we move to the next star... I think that's the one we're headed to anyways. All right, cool, so. I don't, like I'm not really understanding how am I kind of moving through these stars. Like for example, if I want to go back to gaming, how would I do that? All right, there we go. I guess we, you just kind of toggle uh, the left and right uh, thumbsticks until you kind of get to where you want. Okay, so we're here now. That green star looks kind of interesting. Can we go there? Okay, so this is free uh, exploration mode. This is interesting. So where is, where are we right now? I think we're here, right? This is kind of difficult to control. So let's go ahead and exit out of there. Yeah, let's go, yeah, this path towards galactic core, this is a little better. So yeah, I think we're pretty much headed here. So let's go ahead and engage warp. All right, this is awesome. <laughs> We're in warp. Uh, we're traveling at warp speed. It's pretty cool. If you look at our instruments, it says zero U and no target. Uh, so I'm not sure how warp works in this game, but I imagine that space is moving and we're just pretty much standing still. Uh, but yeah. Alright, cool, we're here. 
So this is the system Onka Ansa, uh, the Euclid galaxy. So we're still here, Euclid. Uh, I don't think we'll be leaving the galaxy anytime soon, but check this out. This is awesome. We have this massive starship. We've got more over here. I wonder if these are like all freighters. Okay, so let's look at our objectives real quick. Craft more warp cells for hyperdrive. Yeah, for sure. Acquire antimatter recipe. Interesting. So, yeah, we don't have the antimatter recipe, so we can't even make it yet. Craft antimatter, craft warp cells. All right, cool. So I want to actually, yeah. So pretty much each warp jump that we take, it's going to use up 20% of our energy. And I guess that depends on how far of a jump we take, right? Okay, so I kind of want to maybe take this giant ship on, but there's no way we can fight it, can we? <laughs> it would be fun to kind of take it on though, right? Like, check that out. Like, check out these massive guns it has on its hull there. <laughs> it's pretty much the size of our ship. They're mounted guns there. All right, let's try to uh, line ourselves with a planet. I saw a planet. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, what is this called? This is the Submarima. All right, whatever planet it is, that's fine. Let's go ahead and engage our pulse drive there. Alright, pulse engine offline. Oh, check that out. This is pretty cool. Uh, Alright, cool. So, there's like water on this planet. I don't think we've seen water so far, right? I wonder how, uh, if or, I'm not sure if we can right now, but I wonder if we can go inside the water and explore the oceans in this game that would be pretty cool okay let's go ahead and try that I don't know if it'll work yeah I don't think it will work let's go ahead and try land and see what happens okay so landing area not clear yeah so we can't land on water Alright, let's see what else we can explore here. Okay, so I see something over here. And we totally missed it. So let's go ahead and make a U-turn. <laughs> Actually, there's something over there as well. But was this back here a structure? Or I think maybe it was some kind of resource. Uh, what is this? I think it's a resource. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Check out that other point of interest that I saw. Actually, was it that? I think it was. Nope, nope, did not mean to land. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right, so we have, look at that. Oh, it's running away. Uh, let's try to scan it real quick. Let's get analyzing, analyzing, there we go. Uh, I missed that name, so it's the Lassum Red. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother pronouncing this anymore. <laughs> Looks cool though. Yeah, I really like how it animates. Looks very natural, I guess. All right, so yeah, that's cool. Oh, and look at that over there. Okay, let's go uh, check that animal out over there. And I guess we can uh, start 
working our way towards this question mark over there. Yeah, so we can uh, either walk there or we can take our ship. And you know what? I think uh, it's better to take our ship. But since we're walking in this direction anyways, I guess we might as well just walk there and then... Then we'll walk back to our ship and then, you know, hopefully we'll get a milestone for walking a lot. <laughs> oh, check this out. This dude is huge. Let's go ahead and uh, analyze him. Uh, are we too far? I think so. Why is this not working? Yeah, there we go. Analyzing. Nice. Okay, so this thing is uh, 4.75 meters uh, in height, I think. That's what it said, I think. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. So check out, like, the overall animation it has. Looks very fluid. Uh, I'm trying to take a... Try to look at its face. Uh, so the closer that we've kind of got into it, the more creepier it looks. <laughs> it looks super, like colorful from afar but up close this thing looks almost freakish <laughs> well the face that is but yeah it looks pretty cool all right uh i think that's pretty much all we can do with it right like just pretty much stare at it <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and move on i guess we are headed back to the ship actually no Let's go ahead and find that question mark. There it is. All right, arrives in 30 seconds. That's pretty cool. So over there, there's like uh, more of this reindeer thing. I'm just gonna call it reindeer just because it has these antlers. <laughs> oh, check that out. That is. That looks creepy. <laughs> oh no, is it coming towards us? I think it is. Okay, yeah, this thing is hostile towards us. Oh, okay, so... <laughs> that kind of went by... Like, that kind of happened really fast. Uh, I didn't think it would... Uh, die so quickly. First of all, I wasn't even expecting it to attack us. <laughs> but yeah, check that out. Is that its head? It's like huge. And then it has like this like weird body. And then it has this tail. <laughs> yeah, so... Okay. Let's switch back to our, our mining uh, laser here. Just because we are friendly. I mean, I don't really want to be uh, going around killing everything that we see. Not yet, at least. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe in the future, but not right now. Alright, where did that question mark go? There it is. Oh, milestone for walking, I bet you. Definitely walking, because we haven't done anything else. Rambler. Awesome. So 20,000 units. Or you? I think that's units, right? Uh, I think we should be scanning too, right? Uh, trying to, and try to get as many resources as we can. Uh, okay, so I lost track of the... Uh, question mark again. Where was it? I thought we were headed in the right direction, but I guess not. This is so cool. Okay, so we can go underwater. This is so cool.
Wow, this is amazing. Now, okay, so on the bottom left there, we definitely have a uh, indicator there saying that we're running out of uh, oxygen, I guess. So, I don't want to get too far away from the uh, from the top here. But yeah, I'm wondering what we can actually do down there. I noticed that we didn't really see any uh, fish, so it's kind of empty, which is which is a little disappointing. But I'm sure we'll run into fish sooner or later. <laughs> All right, for now, let's go to the question mark and check that out. Okay, so the question mark is underwater. Yeah, I think that's like a plaque or ruin. Yeah, so let's uh, go ahead and check that out. It'll probably uh, tell us something about the Viking, probably. Um, how can we interact with this here? Okay, there we go. So remnants of the Inu Inusmosi <laughs> Corvax plaque. So no, this isn't Viking, I don't think. The ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Okay, so the, yeah, this isn't Viking. This these are the Corvax. Uh, so I gotta remember that these structures are Corvax. So knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability. The atlas spoke in fragments. The atlas interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Together they convey the wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. Hmm, interesting. So the atlas spoke in fragments. The atlas interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Hmm. I'm not sure what it means by monolith. What is it referring to there? Okay, so let's go ahead and seek help with the language. Okay, so our our knowledge of Corvax has increased, and now we know the Corvax word for rare. Okay, cool. All right, let's uh, head back to uh, the land here. Oh no. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and scan. Oh no, you gotta be kidding me. Is this thing new? I don't think we've seen this yet. You've got to be kidding me. Why is everything hostile towards us? Oh no. All right, there we go. Yeah, I didn't mean to, you know, like, kill it but it was attacking us oh no is it are the sentinels gonna are the sentinels gonna attack us for killing it maybe I don't know nope they're like meh whatever <laughs> all right where did it go uh the body yeah here it is yeah, like, check that out. That is... That's so, like, creepy looking. It doesn't even have eyes. <laughs> or does it? I don't know. Alright, so at least these, you know, alien animals are getting, you know, a little exciting. Let's go ahead and take the pl uh, plutonium. Right. Okay, so it's give it's told us this like numerous times and I've pretty much ignored it every single time. So let's go ahead and free up some slots here. Uh what can we Yeah, let's go ahead and move our karite sheet over to our starship. Yeah, that should be good. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and head back to our ship now. Oh, check that out. Oh no, we just, uh, we went there, right? 
That's where we came from, right? Okay, so we already visited the plaque. We're not gonna do that again. <laughs> All right, now our long way back to the ship. Is that, uh, yeah, that looks like the same deer thing that we saw earlier. Well, I don't know, like it has the antlers of a deer. It has kind of the head of, um, hmm. Yeah, okay, so the head is pretty unique, but it, like overall it kind of looks like a dinosaur, I guess. Kind of. Uh, did we scan this? I think we did. Oh no, we didn't. This is new. Okay, cool. I wonder though, I mean, I wonder if we can uh, fight this deer, reindeer thing here. Uh, just because we took down two other species so far, so I wonder if we're powerful enough to take this down. Or at least if our gun is powerful enough. But I mean, it seems like super friendly, like... Like, absolutely no hostility towards us here, even though we're pretty much right in its face. <laughs> Alright, I think it's had enough of us. 